Hunter Biden, I got to tell you. Now, I'm going to say something and you're going to get mad at me. All right, I'm just going to throw this out there right off the bat. I've got to be honest with you. I always owe you honesty. Part of me is morbidly fascinated with Hunter Biden. I, I, I know he's a grease fire. I, I understand he is. But there are some people who are screw-ups. And then there are people who they've taken screwing up to a whole other level that normal people will never go to. And he's just a disaster in every possible way. We're going to get to the story today of him showing up. I just have to explain myself before we get to this here. He, he not only commits inhuman amounts of crime. And the reason I say inhuman amount is because of this. We already have a laptop. This is one laptop. Hunter Biden has had many laptops. We have one laptop of his with an unending amount of felonies. Not only did he commit them, he recorded all of them and put it on a laptop for safekeeping. <laughs> He bought a gun when he wasn't supposed to. He, <clears throat> just trying to think of the best way I can put this, had a <clears throat> relationship with his dead brother's wife. He, <laughs> he knocked up a stripper. He's just a disaster. And I find it fascinating that anybody, let alone a grown man in his 50s, could be this much of a grease fire of a human being, yet... He is. And that brings me to today. The big story of today was the GOP was having a hearing. A hearing that Hunter Biden is not really supposed to be at. Hunter Biden showed up anyway. And well, here's how it went. Um, first of all, my first question is who bribed Hunter Biden to be here today? That's my first question. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, Apparently, whoa. you're afraid of my words. Whoa. Uh, here <laughs> oh. I'd like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. Yeah. So, look, all that's obviously embarrassing. And it's all a show. We're a serious nation with serious problems, and this is what's going on. But there are a couple things happening here. First, Hunter Biden defied a subpoena. What he's doing is he's playing the public relations game. All right, now there's a, there's a saying in law, you've heard me say this before, this is not my saying, I'm not a lawyer, I have family members who are, and they all know this saying. I, apparently they teach all lawyers this saying. When you have the truth, you pound the truth. So what does that mean? What does that mean? If uh, I don't have any evidence that I wasn't in the gas station doing the stick up with a mask on my face, I don't have evidence, I don't have a, you know, cell phone data, I don't have anything like, anything like that but I really was at home in bed. I didn't rob the gas station. Then as a lawyer, that's what I will be screaming. I couldn't have. I was at home. I was in bed. If you have the truth, you pound the truth. If you have the facts, you pound the facts. How could I have robbed the gas station? I have evidence right here. I have a camera. I was, I was in a, a sports bar watching a game. Here's the facts. The camera time stamped. I was not there. The facts. But what do you do if you don't have either of those things? You don't have the facts. You don't have the truth. In fact, you're probably guilty. Well, you don't stop pounding. You have to pound something. As a lawyer, you don't have, if you have the truth, you pound the truth. If you have the facts, you pound the facts. If you don't have anything, you pound the table. What's that mean? You make a spectacle of it. You make a bunch of noise. What Hunter Biden's doing here is making a spectacle of it. The, the crimes Hunter Biden is being accused of the thing about these crimes is not many of them are really debatable even. His gun charge, for instance, he committed a felony. We don't have to wait for a trial. We know 
He lied on the form you have to fill out to purchase a firearm. That's a felony. It's black, white. There's no, it's black and white. There's no, no middle man, no, no uh, quibbling over the details here. He committed these crimes. So what's he going to do? He's going to make a gigantic spectacle of the whole thing. That's mainly what you're seeing, playing the public relations game. I'm not scared. I'm here. This is what he's doing. Okay, that's one. But there's a second thing that he's doing, and this part's not good. Remember how we were talking yesterday and we've been talking recently about how they're removing Trump's name off the ballot and they're already beginning to make a push to remove other Republicans from the ballot. Now, this is going to come back to Hunter. Just stay with me. And if you watch this show, if you listen to my radio show, you know what we've been talking about without end. It's not just that they're doing these things. They're doing these things without fear. I, look, forget about reasoning with them or, or bringing them over to your side. Forget any of those things. If you're sitting down and you're a communist and you're thinking about removing a Republican from the ballot so you don't have to worry about those pesky little elections, forget about your heart or morals or any of those other things. You should be afraid to do that. You should be afraid of the retribution that will come for you if you do that. What if they remove my name off the ballot? What if they arrest my congressman? What if they do this? What if they... You should have fear. But time and time and time again, the communist in America proves right now that he has no fear, none of Republicans, none. You can feel bad for all those congressmen in there trying to ask Hunter questions. Hunter, where are you going? But what you should be asking is, why isn't Hunter Biden afraid at all? Defied a subpoena, showed up and essentially gave Republicans in Congress the double middle finger, not an ounce of fear. He's out there giving press conferences afterwards. What's your favorite type of crack? Biden, why did you put your dad on speakerphone with your business partners if he had no involvement in your business? Do you have a dad? Did he call you? Yes. Did he the phone? Yes. Okay. But why did you need to talk to him during business meetings if he had nothing to do with your business? Well, you're dangerous. You're very dangerous. Yeah. Okay. First of all, uh, let's just get this out of the way before we move on here. Again, I want, to, I want to make sure we're not once again adopting the communist's language, handing him his premise. It's not Hunter Biden's business. It's not Hunter's business. Hunter's business. Hunter Biden's business. Was Joe involved in Hunter Biden's business? What about Hunter's business? How involved was Joe in Hunter Biden's business? Hunter doesn't have a business. Hunter is a loser. A lifetime drug addict loser with no skills, nothing to sell at all. Hunter Biden has no business. It wasn't Sammy the Bull Gravano's mafia family. It was John Gotti's mafia family. Sammy the Bull did the things John Gotti wanted him to do. Hunter Biden doesn't have a business. Joe Biden has a business. Hunter doesn't. Joe is the one with things to sell. Joe's the one selling money, access, power. Hunter has none of those things, but setting that aside. Hunter Biden just showed up and embarrassed the GOP, embarrassed everyone today. Now, is Hunter Biden actually going to go to jail for contempt? Well, you remember when Margot Cleveland came on the show, she said this. Yeah, he's going to jail because he will be able to allege as a defense that he has the Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate himself. And that'll probably keep him out of the uh, pokey and not have to go to jail for it. Okay, so he's probably not going to go to business. Now, what's, what's another big story out of all this? Joe Biden is in serious trouble, not with Republicans. They lack the guts to ever actually do something to him. Joe Biden's in trouble with Democrats. There's a reason Joe Biden left town and Gavin Newsom visited the White House the day he left town. Mm, that's uncomfortable. You know where Gavin Newsom just was? He was on vacation in Mexico with Bill Clinton. Guess who still has a machine set up to run for president? The Clinton family, courtesy of Hillary still. Joe Biden and the Biden family 
they're going to get knifed in the back by Democrats who don't want to risk losing. Why do you think Michelle Obama, that dirty commie, is on TV talking about how scared she is about 2024? the things that yeah. keep me up because you you don't have control over them mm -hmm. and you wonder where are people where are we in this you know where are our hearts what's going to happen in this next election i am terrified about what could possibly happen because our leaders matter who we select who speaks for us who holds that bully pulpit it affects us in ways that I, sometimes i think people take for granted ouch don't have to read too deep between the lines to see that as a little shot across the bow at Uncle Joe. Is it going to be Michelle? Going to be Gavin Newsom? I don't know, but you know I've been telling you for a while it ain't going to be Joe Biden. All that may have made you uncomfortable, but I am right.